Good morning, people. Watch them in 65. Lisa Voice, I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn and something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life the key word is believe um once you come to the knowledge that you are a sinner in need of a savior and put your faith and trust in christ jesus the holy spirit will indwell in you. You've automatically repented. I got this. People are writing me again about repentance, okay? Um, there's nowhere in Scripture that says you have to turn from sin. You have to repent of sin. Again, let me get this straight. Repentance, the word repentance, is a change of mind. Metanoia. The moment you accept Christ as Savior, you've automatically repented. I've had so many people even emailing me about this. You've automatically repented. You've automatically changed your mind the moment you put your faith and trust in Christ Jesus. Period. No one will turn from sin. No one can. Once you accept Christ as Savior, you are saved and the Holy Spirit seals you until the day of redemption. The key is to believe. We walk by faith, not by sight, not by doing right. I mean, we want to do right when we get saved. And the Holy Spirit's, the Holy Spirit's job is to lead you and guide you into all righteousness. You're saved only by believing in what Christ did at the cross. And when I point out the fact that God repented in the Old Testament, it shocks a lot of people. God actually repented. He changed his mind about making mankind, actually. And I don't think people realize that. I really don't. God repented. Repentance is a change of mind, period. We're saved by grace. Something we didn't earn is something we don't deserve. We're saved by grace through faith, believing. Faith is believing in Christ alone. That's the gospel. When you add to the gospel, someone wrote me a nasty comment yesterday. When you add to the gospel and take away from it, then you're putting yourself in it. The gospel is very simple. You believe in what Christ did for you at the cross. Admit you're a sinner and accept him as Savior. It doesn't get any simpler as that. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend. And the Holy Spirit will change you. Will we mess up? We do it every day. And thought, deed, every, we do it every day. But we have an advocate, Jesus Christ, and we're saved. Now, I mentioned this uh, a few weeks ago. Those, of, those people who have said, well, I can do anything I want. I'm saved by grace anyway. I can just go out and do anything I want. Then they're not saved in the first place because you wouldn't have that mindset. People want to omit the Holy Spirit, and you can't do that. The Holy Spirit will change you. The Holy Spirit will lead you and guide you. You do not want to do what you used to do. That's the gospel. Now, people want to come at me and argue with me about repentance? Let me tell you again. Repentance is a change of mind. And let me also reiterate, if you go back to the Old Testament, if you go back to the book of uh, Exodus, Leviticus, God 
repented. And let me give you another tidbit. Judas Iscariot repented, and he still went to hell. Think about it. We're only saved by grace, through faith in Christ alone. We're saved by believing. The jailer asked Paul and Silas, how do I get saved? Believe. You believe. I have to deal with this every day. And sometimes I ignore it, but now it's getting up in my face again. So I'm going to hit it again. I got to give you this article. Um, out of control fires in Colorado sent thousands fleeing. This is out of control. And this is really, really bad. Um, it says thousands of people fled and hundreds of homes were destroyed. As wildfires hit Colorado, officials said. Colorado Governor Jared Polis announced state of emergency on Thursday due to grass fires created by high winds. The Boulder, Colorado, uh, the Boulder County Office of Emergency Management announced evacuation orders for the city of Superior and Louisville. Combined, the towns have more than 30,000 residents and they have to leave because of these fires. I'm going to link this article. This is off of the uh, Insider. It says Boulder County Sheriff uh, Joe uh, Pelly said around 580 homes and other structures have been destroyed. Officials suggested fire was spreading fast thanks to high winds, making them almost impossible to contain. I'm going to find out more later about this phone call. Um with um, Sleepy Joe and Putin. So far, nothing came out of it. So, I guess, but he did give, um, Putin gave Joe a stark, a stark warning about sanctions, and it wasn't pretty. So, I will also link that in the description box. I'm, this is going to be a short video. I'll be back later. Uh, yesterday, I was just tired. Um, last night, so, um, but this fire, I'm going to link this in the description box. This fire is really bad. It's awful. So I'm going to link both of these. I'm going to link this article in the description box. I will be back later with more about this phone call. Folks, quit putting more in the gospel than what it is. The gospel is faith, belief in what Christ did for you at the cross. That's the gospel. People want to make things so complicated that it's impossible to get saved with people. Man makes the gospel impossible. But with God, all things are possible. I'll be back with the next video. Thank you.